let's cover everything from WWE 2024 Backlash and Friends and stay tuned, stay tuned to the end of this video because I got breaking news from WWE about next year's WrestleMania. There we go, there's my intro for this whole video. Um, welcome back to another coverage of WWE Paper Foods. And I do, I mean, I do have lots of WWE coverage coming. So stay tuned, this one comes on Monday. So stay tuned for this video. But, but before I do, and if you're new here, please like, Comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. So, the first match we kick off from Backlash was Randy Orton and Kevin Owens versus Solo Sokoa and Tama Tonga in a street fight match. It was like a no disqualification match, and then it turned out that we had a street fight match. Let's go to study. Um, and we have a new member in the bloodline. Someone has... Um, debuted in WWE a new Member of the bloodline, and I know the name, but I don't remember how how I pronounce that name. Um, let's look it up. Hold on. Ah. Money is So, Tama Tonga's brother debuted at Backlash and helped the Bloodline win against Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. And Tama Tonga's brother brought in was a, a very cool surprise to see at It is very cool to see Tim and Tonga's brother show up today at that class. That sounded like a very fun match. Um, we had Solo and Tim and Tonga win this match. What's next for the Bloodline? Um, they brought a new member in. Um, Without the um, real tribal chief, Woman Wings. I would love to see um, Woman and the Usos team up to make a baby face bloodline versus the heel bloodline team, including Solo, Tomatonga, his brother, and Jacob for two. That'd be very cool to see and bring in Sami Zayn, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, and Roman Reigns for the Babyface Bloodline match. Could happen at SummerSlam. Video on the screen somewhere or up above. 
um, next match was for the um, Women's Tag Team Championships match. Okay, this match was ab absolutely really good. I didn't watch it because I had work. Um, we had Oscar and Kyrie Sane versus Chad Cargill and Bianca Belair. And your new tag team champions are Bianca and Jade Cargill. Let me know your thoughts on all of these matches. Guys, I would love to hear from you. Um, we had Jade and Bianca win and capture the titles from the um, damage control. They have no more titles and damage control, which I'm really happy. Then we had a triple threat match for the women WWE Women's Championship. We had Bailey, we had Naomi, and Tiffany Stadden. Um, I'm still your champion. Women's, I mean, and still your women's champion, Bailey. She won the match, capture her title in a really good defense. That's her first title defense of this Triple H era. I thought to myself just now. And I was thinking of what if Bailey puts up her title in a one on one match with um who's on SmackDown who that can go up against her? Tiggy Knox or someone like that, that'd be very cool to see. Um then we had, okay, um, we had a very scrambling match at Backlash between Damien versus Jay Uso. Um, for the World Heavyweight Championship. We had the Judgment Day show up that JD McDonough and Finn Balor after the match. And Beat down on Jey Uso. Then Damien pushed everybody aside and said, I do not need you anymore. Something like that. I'm not sure what he, I'm not sure what he said, but I think he said that. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, they said, he said, I don't need your help. Then he put up his title in the air, sky, air, sky, I don't know, um, above, above his head. Then he left. I think that Damien Priest should break free from the Judgment Day and focus on his t title win by himself. And he doesn't seem to need any help. Because he defeated Jay Uso to recapture, I mean, to retain his championship at Backlash. Let me know your thoughts, guys. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. And if you agree with me, just let me know in the comments. Or if you, if you do, uh, if you do disagree with me, doesn't really matter. Just Leave me, leave me, leave me your thoughts down below on this results and recap. Then we had the main event. We had Cody Rhodes vs AJ Styles for the Undisputed WWE Championship. This match was absolutely really cool to see on Instagram. Because that's where I got my WWE booking news and stuff like that. Um, 
Um, so we had AJ did a really good match with Cody Rhodes, but Cody Rhodes pulled out the win and retained the championship. I would love to. I would love to see a rematch at this at some point. Maybe at SummerSlam or WrestleMania in a triple threat match with AJ, Cody, and LA Knight. That'd be very cool to see. We could see a rematch between LA Knight and AJ Styles. I would love to see LA Knight going after the um, United States Championship from Logan Paul and AJ Styles goes after Damien Priest or someone like that. That'd be very cool to see put AJ in the world title or the um, internal IC Championship against Sami Zayn. That'd be very cool to see. And I got breaking news from WWE for WrestleMania 41. Guys, please come more. Please come more for this. It's in Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas is going to host WrestleMania 41 on April 19th and the 20th of next year in 2025. I will make um my um dream matches for WrestleMania 41. In a later in a, in a later date, but this video comes out on Monday, so stay tuned for this one. Again, thank you for watching. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys next time.